Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Host Client Web Interface as part of vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So you'll notice here we're logging directly into the um, host console interface. This is not vCenter, this is us hitting um, the vSphere ASXi host directly on its management IP address. And you can tell that because in the top, top left hand corner you'll see it says uh, VMware ESXi and in the toolbar it will be the IP address of the host itself not the vCenter server. So if we just have a quick round you can see we're logged in as root on uh, the IP address. A couple of settings around here before we start, auto refresh, um, things like being able to change the password directly from the web interface, a couple of generic settings down here about visual effects and statistics, uh, recent objects and welcome message and then some more environmental type settings where we can pick the um, either the browser default language or change it to another language if you, if you prefer a, a different language and then options for keyboard layout if you want to change a keyboard layout and then the default console so when you view a virtual machine in the host client you have an option of viewing it in the inside the web browser itself or using more of a, an application um, so this is a, a, a VMware application that you install separately outside of the browser looks a little bit like VMware Player or VMware Workstation we've got some settings here for timeout so how long um, how many minutes of inactivity you can have before you have to re-log in again um, and then an option to reset things to defaults if things aren't working the way you'd expect um, up in the help in the top right hand corner you can see version information about the host itself and the client there's also the um, web based documentation which is always kept up to date uh, an, an easy way to link to get to that um, there's also an update which allows you to apply patches and updates or vibs you either enter the URL to the patch or the vib or you copy the vib to the file system using SSH or SCP and then provide the path to it there so this is a way of installing patches locally for, directly from the host um, and then there's some more tools and links here so we've got something called the management object browser or mob browser this is quite a, a complicated and daunting part of the client I wouldn't expect anybody to go in here uh, day to day or, or certainly normally. Um, the only time I've ever used this particular object browser is when I've had uh, a virtual machine or a, um, an appliance fail on me and because it's failed I can't remove it cleanly so I've had to go into some more advanced settings and remove it by hand because I couldn't do an uninstall because the virtual machine or appliance no longer exists. As I said this is quite complicated, I'm not going to go into this in much detail but at least you know how to get to it if you find a KB article that says the only way to fix this is to change a value through the mob browser. So there's links here for SDK documentation, software development kits and there's also some command line tools here so if, you, if you're the kind of person that likes to automate things from the command line or use the CLI, command line interface, here's where you'll find the documentation and installs for the command line tools. This is the link for the VMware Remote Console. This is, um, in this instance, it would be a Windows application that I would install locally, and it gives me a remote console to a, a virtual machine uh, using a Windows application rather than through the web browser. And then there's a link to get vCenter Server. So although this particular host is connected to vCenter Server, I'm hitting it directly on the host client. But if you haven't got it, it would take you to vmware.com or myvmware.com. So you could find vCenter Server to download it if you have an entitlement for it. Um, and last part of this, a part that people often overlook, is the search box at the top. So I've searched for anything with vCenter, and I can find a virtual machine that contains the word vCenter. I can see a local data store that I've named to include vCenter, and I can see one of my um, port groups which I use for vCenter high availability. But just a quick way to find things um, instead of searching through the uh, normal navigation tray on the left. Um, other things to say here, if you need a little bit more room, you can uh, compress it or um, make it smaller using the uh, buttons in the corner there to minimize and then expand it back out again when you click on it again. So that's just an overview of the kind of interface for the web browser. We will go into some of the more settings and features in future videos.
So that was um, Host Client Web Interface, part of the vSphere 7 Hope Lamp series. Um, thank you for your time and I hope you found that useful.